Okay, good morning. Welcome to Summer, Summer Math number nine. nine. Summer Math number nine. We're back to our counting. You guys have a fun time camping? Yes. What are you going to do this week? Camp. Camp. All right, so we're back. We're counting before camping. How many three letter words can, can we form with the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G? If we must use F at least once, and uh, we're allowed to repeat letters. Hmm. Okay, do you understand the problem? Yeah. yeah. What are we trying to make? We're trying to make three letter words <coughs> okay. that must use F at least once. Yeah, so we're starting a chapter on basic counting. And there's a really clever way to do this with, uh, with something called complementary counting, but we haven't learned about that yet. So we're going to try to use a different approach. And what approach would you like to use? Maybe case, maybe casework? Casework, okay. So we, there's going to be three cases. What are they? The letters with one letter, the letters with two letters, the, the words with one letter, the words with two letters, and the words with three letters. What, uh, what's the problem, sir? How many three letter words can we form with the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G? Okay. So what are we trying to make? We're trying to make three letter words. Okay. So how many one letter words are there? Zero. How many two letter words are there? Zero. Why? Because the because you just said three letter words. We're trying to make just three letter so, words. Okay. And what's special about these three letter words? They have to have F in them. They have to have F in them. Well, At least once. So you, you can put them in the beginning slot, the middle slot, or the end slot. Ah. So there's three different subcases in this case. Okay, so this is going to be tricky, right? So the cases you guys want to look at, case one is there's an F here. Case two is there's an F in the middle. And case three is there's an F at the end. We have seven letter. We have seven different other letters. Okay. So that means there's going to be seven, and the other slots there's going to be seven seven. It, because That's, you can repeat letters. You can repeat letters, but what's going to be tricky about about? But the problem with this is F F F F F. Yeah, when we start putting other F's in place, you count, we're going to have lots of overlaps. But you count that three times over, I think. Yeah, well, let's simplify. Let's make it so we don't have any overlaps here. Let's make this into one giant case. And what's, what case could this be? Well, the, the three-letter case. How about this be the case, only one F? Alright. Okay, so there's a simple case... Only one F. How many other choices do I have here and here? Have six and six. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. Why is this a nice case? Only one F. Because you don't have to worry about overlaps. Oh. Why is this a nice case? Well, because nothing nothing is going to overlap because you you have the F in different places. Okay. No overlaps here. So. How many cases are there for this one? For this one, it's F, it's six six times six, which is thirty thirty six cases. Thirty six. How many for this one? Thirty six again. How many for this one? It's thirty six. Okay. What is thirty six plus thirty six plus thirty six? It's mm, I think it's one hundred and ten. One hundred eight. with only one F. Hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a nice case because there's no overlaps. Yeah. What do you think case two is going to be? Probably only two Fs. Two Fs. Now, how many ways can I put in two Fs into these three slots? Well, well you can, you can, well, you can put an F, if you start with an F here at the beginning, yeah. you can put an F here or here. Alright. And if you start with an F here, you can put it. Yeah, that's an F at the beginning. And now, an F in the middle, and an F in the middle, you could go F there and F there. Okay. So what am I looking at now for this case? What's next? You just, it's 
six, six, and six. Are there any overlaps there? Um, no, because you're you're still not including any more Fs. Not including any more Fs. How many total cases are there for this part? There's going to be 18. Eighteen. Okay. Now what about three Fs? There's only one. Because one. You because you have F, F, F. And there's only three there. There's only one. So, 108 plus 18 plus one. Which is 127. Uh, yeah, 127. That's interesting. So sometimes the cases are harder to see. Yeah. Sometimes the cases are a little harder to see. But that's a pretty interesting problem, actually. Yeah. All right. You got a homework problem like that. That's why I wanted to go over that. And sorry, that was a little quick. Yeah. But uh, good job. Good job.